and welcome back or more like welcome me back because it's been a month since I have filmed a video and I am slacking on the YouTube thing so I thought you know what let me get my act together let me film a video since it's crappy outside today in raining and I'm stuck inside anyway so I might as well enjoy my day in and film a video so that is precisely what I'm going to do let's get started so as you can see from the name of this video it is a super huge haul that I am going to be showing you today and when I mean super I mean super like it's huge huge now excuse my posters in the background mr. Nick Jonas over here or mr. what is his name Zach Efron there you go and then what's his face those are Monroe Chambers and his twin brother if any of you watch Degrassi you will get that reference in the month that I have not been filming, I have been doing quite a lot of shopping. So, you know, I thought I'd sit down and finally film something. To start off my super huge haul, I'm going to be showing you guys the wonderful things that my mother got for me when she was in Hawaii. So here's the bag. Ah, so yellow. So I've already seen these uh, dresses and photos when my mom was shopping and I Instagrammed it, but I haven't seen them in person yet, so ah! I just wanted to make this video so that I can wear all these wonderful things. Woo! I already see something I like. Ooh, look, it's all polka dotty. Ooh, yay! So there's this dress. It's white and black polka dot at the top, and then it's black and white polka dot. And it goes, you can't see, but basically what it does, it's it's like short in the front long in the back you know that style that's so very in so yes I love me a short in the front long in the back because in the summertime I like to show off my legs because my legs are the only part of me I like so definitely dress crazy in the summer I always try to display my legs in the summer so this will be wonderful and this is only $27.80 and this dress is gorgeous so definitely definitely a bargain I like it I love the train so yes Dress number one, done. Dress number two, there's this gorgeous, I'm obsessed with two things this summer, collars and jeans. So this is my favorite combination. So this is a dress. It's a little bit, it's like a little peekaboo of short in the front, long in the back kind of thing, which you know I love. I'm sorry I'm turning like orange and what is going on with the lighting? Work better. Okay, there we go. I think it's better yes okay so it's a combination of what I love short in the front long in the back and it's kind of short I like my dresses on the short side only because I'm very very tall so usually long dresses end up being short on me anyway and short dresses end up being t-shirts so yep and the third and final dress which is my favorite it's this gorgeous kind of print that I'm obsessed with and another thing I love is zippers in the back. I don't know what it is about zippers, but ugh, that sound. Ooh, just gives me all the tingles. So yes, so we got this dress. Oh my god, there's four dresses! I didn't know that, oh my god. You can see that's, ooh, I'm sorry, that's out of frame. You can see that's quite short, so gonna have to work with that. But my mother bought it, so you know, she knows what I'm wearing. And the fourth dress was a complete surprise. I only thought I had three dresses in here. But the fourth dress, ah oh, yes, ah. Oh. Another thing I love, I'm sorry, I keep on saying love. I love little buttons like that in mesh. Mesh is my favorite. First of all, dresses like this where they're very like satiny with mesh, they are the easiest to pack because they won't wrinkle. Really, if you iron them, because my mom and I were pretty crazy, we iron our clothes before they go in our suitcase. We know we're crazy, let us be. But we do that so that when we get to our destination, our clothes will already be nice, you know, because I'm crazy. And packing's already like a headache for me, so at least I know my clothes won't be wrinkly and ugly when I get to my destination. Yep. So this is really cute. Another short in the front, long in the back one. I think I have a problem. My mom also bought me these really cute pajamas. I am moving to England in the end of September, early October. I start classes like 13th of October, I think. Uh, but freshman week starts October 6th. So she got me some PJs because I need to get like all new bed stuff and pajamas and I need like robes and stuff. So I'm going crazy. So she got me these adorable glow in the dark pajamas. 
which should be interesting. I had these pajamas for the exact same pattern, uh, but they were shorts and a tank top, and this time they're pants and a shirt. So, whatever, I love them. Okay, so they're like this. They're cookies, and they say, "Come to the dark side. We have cookies." Can you see that? Isn't that adorable? I think that's adorable. So yes, they're pants, which is lovely because England is much colder than uh, than New York. So love having that. And then I have the shirt, which before it was like a kind of like a wife beater kind of material. Um, so yes, yeah, so now it's just a shirt, and I like shirts better. So yes, for sleeping. Woohoo! So yes, I love this store. It's an adorable store. If you live in Hawaii, definitely go to it. The place is called Stupid Factory, where boys are made. How cute. This place is so cute. It's David, David and Goliath. The place is literally just filled with like adorable pajamas. So cute. I love them. And also, in my David and Goliath bag, my mom got me the super cute Hawaiian phone case that I had on my phone for like a day, but I'm really, really OCD about my phone because I have the iPhone 5, which I don't know where I put it. It's somewhere. I'm sure of it. Oh yeah, it's dead on my bed. Ooh, that's not good. It's dead in the other room. I should probably charge that. Yes. So she got this for me. It says, Hawaii, live the dream. Can you see it? Yes. Live in dream island. Yes. So I love this. She got me several other cases, but I cannot find the bag. So unfortunately, I cannot show it to you. But this is really, really cute. And I'm probably going to put this on my phone uh, tomorrow because on Thursday, I had bought for Mother's Day, I had bought my mom tickets to this Hawaiian concert. It has like 10 people who she's obsessed with. So we're going. I don't know these people, but you know, I'm a good daughter and I bought my mom a cool gift that she's really, really going to enjoy and we'll enjoy it together. So I will put this on my phone for the occasion. So that is it for my Hawaiian haul. Now we're moving on to luggage type thingies. Like I said, I'm moving to England. I uh, got a scholarship, so I'm going to be going to Oxford University for my junior year of college. So now I've kind of been preparing since it is summer and I will be leaving in four, almost three months. Uh, so I gotta start getting ready. So I got some stuff I'm gonna need. So first I went to Vera Bradley because Vera Bradley is my favorite place ever. And I got this adorable backpack. I love it. I think this is called like Island Blossom or something. I'm not sure. I'm trying to see where the tag is so I can tell you what it is. But I don't have the tag. The tag actually for this was all tied up and it fell off and stuff. So I'm not actually sure where it went. But yes, it's gorgeous. It's a laptop backpack because I will be bringing my laptop. Funny enough, I do have this backpack already. Uh, in another pattern, it's purple and it's on my floor. I can see it from where I'm sitting. But um, I wanted another one because, you know, they were having a sale and it went from like $108 to $40. How could I say no? <laughs> I'm so weird. Okay, and next I got this in the closet hangy thingy that's just coming apart on me, isn't it? Has a gorgeous little hook and you can just hold all your stuff in here. You know, you can put like toiletries and makeup and it has a huge pouch at the bottom if you can see it. Can you see? Nice pouch. Isn't that pattern darling? I tried to get the same pattern as my backpack, but the woman told me it's such a popular color, especially in the summer, that they run out fairly quickly. So since there was a mega sale going on, uh, there was like none left. This is 48 and I actually got this for like 15. That's how much the sale was. It was amazing. So yes, I got this. I love it. So I'm going to, you just roll it up. I'm just going to roll it up for you. You do that. And then you tie this here like so. I'm going to do that twice, make it nice and neat. Okay. And then you have a nice little thing that can just plop into your luggage. I'm going to get all my luggage from London Fog, which I will be doing a video on because I have to get all my carry-on and stuff. And the last thing I picked up from Vera was this lovely duffel in the same pattern as my uh, toiletries thing. So the duffel's quite large. I don't want to open it up completely because last time I did, I couldn't do it again. So yes, it's very big, two huge handles. I've seen people travel with this on trains now. A good friend of mine, Claire, she is going to the University of London, so she'll be there when I'm in England. So, you know, if I ever want to go on the train and pop over to hers and stay at her flat for a weekend, I can because I got my duffel. Yep. The funny thing is, is that I have the umbrella from there in the same pattern as my backpack. I've had this umbrella for a while, but it's in here, so I thought I'd show you. 
Mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna put all of that here because I'm trying to organize and it's not organizing. <laughs> the thing I picked up from Vera was this gorgeous pen set. Now they're in like a greenish, can you see it? Yes, so it's just a gorgeous little box. You can read that, I have quite shaky hands. It says perfect match and the box just opens like so like that and then you have the darling pens because I'm a writer and I like to keep a journal when I'm traveling I don't really keep one during the year unless something happens and I I write it down but I usually keep travel journals you know so I can go back and read about all the things that I did uh, so definitely um, when I'm at Oxford I'll definitely uh, writing with this but also I'm gonna be making a blog so it doesn't even matter but yeah another Vera thing Moving on, I went to H&M. Now, see, I'm a big fan of the monochrome. I like my blacks, I like my beige, I like my browns. That's just what I am. I'm tan, you know, so blacks and browns and beiges look good on me. So the first dress I picked up was this gorgeous black dress. It's a little short, but I like it. I cannot get this. It's a little short, but I like it. You know, goes down to here. It comes with a belt, which I will show you in a second, but it has these gorgeous little, little buttons down the front. I'm a sucker for buttons, you know, and it just slips right on and you button it up. And I usually wear it with like a lace bra underneath, you know, nothing push up -y. Okay, and then that goes with this belt. The belt matches these buttons right here, so it looks really, really cute. I've actually already worn this. Shh, don't tell anybody. I had to look good for something, so I wore it. <laughs> the same type of dress just in a different pattern I was feeling funky so I was just in love with the style of the dress so I went back to see if they had any other pat patterns and I saw this one uh, so yes yeah, so it has again the gold it's just uh, black with white dots on it and again it has a belt I took the belts off because they go through the loops and they were a pain in my butt to try on so I just took the belt off and yes so those are them well, there you go H&M with Beyonce on it. Yes, my own. So I went to H&M two weeks ago, I believe, and I got this gorgeous orange dress. Now, orange and yellow are usually the two colors I try to stay away from, but I tried this on and it was too darling to leave in the store. And this has a huge zipper all the way down the front. Now, I've actually realized that a lot of my dresses have this front zipper detailing or this front button detailing. I don't know. It's just an obsession of mine. It was pretty cheap. This dress, literally, you can wear this to like a fancy event, and it was only $24.95. I'm sorry, but H&M, the quality of clothing they're putting out right now is ridiculous and super, super cheap, so why not go buy it? So yes, so that is the dress. It's gorgeous. It's kind of pulls in at the front, has some scrunchy detailing, if you can see it right there. Yes. And it has just like a little short sleeve, not even a sleeve, just kind of covers the top of the shoulders a little bit. It has a little straps for hanging up, but I love this dress. I cannot wait to be super tan and put that on. Oh, I love it. Okay, so then this weekend, this past weekend, for Memorial Day weekend, we went to Tank. Did pop into Made in Form, which is usually where I get all my bras. Obviously not gonna show you my bras because that's highly inappropriate, but I did get a really cute room. Look at the bog. Okay, so I got this really cute purple robe. Now, like I told you, I'm going away, and I want a robe that's, like, comfy for my room, but I also wanted a robe that I could just throw on that was, like, really loose, that I could just go to the bathroom and come back, you know, like, to shower, you know, so I can cover all my dignity. So, yes. So, when I was shopping for bras, I found this gorgeous, uh, this gorgeous robe. It kind of reminded me of the robe that Anna Kendrick was wearing in Pitch Perfect when she went to the bathroom before that awkward singing in the shower with a girl naked thing. And it had a hood and I go, oh my God, I have to have this. And it's purple, which is my favorite color next to green. I always say my favorite colors make up Barney, which is odd. But yes, it's kind of short, you know, comes up like mid thigh, but this is just something, it's super, super light, easy to fold, put in my luggage, piece of cake, you know, long sleeves, hood. I just needed something that I can, you know, go to the bathroom with my Vera Badly toiletries kit, take a shower, and go back to my room. No hassle. I popped on over to Target. I literally came there for just three things that I had on a list. I hate going to Target because every time I go, I go there for like one thing and I come out with like seven. I stopped myself. But I did pick up two pairs of jeans. 
I love Target. Target is my kryptonite. I mean, don't bring me to Target. Don't bring me to Target. Buying a lifetime supply of Lunchables and like 14 different mascaras. So yes, yeah, so I got these faded like nice and loose at the top and super tight at the bottom because they're a skinny ankle jean with a cuff. I love my cuffs, especially for summer. So I got those and I literally got the same pair of jeans but in a darker color. So I got them in a dark blue. You see, I have a problem because dark, what I like about dark jeans is that you can make them dressier than you can make those. I feel like a light jean is more for daytime, you know, cute, like go out to lunch, kind of brunch kind of thing. But with a dark jean, you could put like a really cute black top or just like a really nice top and some like booties or some heels and you can take it from day to night. That's what I love about dark jeans that you could do so much more with them and they're just such great. They're a good nighttime staple outfit. So had to get me a dark pair. So the first thing I picked up at Target was this. It is a suave 24 hour protection powder, aerosol, anti-perspirant deodorant. Whew, that is a lot to say. As you can see, what I just said, boom, boom, boom. Now, many people probably don't even know about how deodorants come in a spray can. I will show it to you. This lid is like a bane on my existence. It's so hard to take off. You see, it's just a deodorant. I would spray it, but it's very weird. The one thing I don't like about this product is that when you spray it, it's like a fog of just white coming at you. Like you can't avoid it. The first time I bought this product was last year over the summer when I went to Hawaii and uh, I bought it and every time I would put it on in my bathroom, my mom would yell at me because I would do it with the door closed and the fumes would just like encase me and anybody who came in would walk through like a cloud of deodorant and it was just not nice. So yes, I have to get a... Uh, aerosol deodorants because I have overly sensitive skin. I mean, it is amazing what certain products can do to my skin to irritate it. It's not pretty at all. So I went to my dermatologist and she suggested getting uh, aerosol deodorant instead of using the sticks because the sticks sometimes really irritate my arms. So this has been working really, really well. There's no irritation. It smells nice. I just could do without the whole stuck in a cloud of white thing. So I like it. One of the main reasons I went to Target was pick up a new mascara. Now, I've been using uh, like the Revlon Purple Mascara for years. I mean, I love it. But lately, I've just been thinking that the brush, it's plastic, and it's just too thick that no matter what I do, it gets on my eyes when I'm doing my eyelashes. Now, I watch Tanya Burr's YouTube videos, and I love the woman. She is gorgeous. Her makeup taste is fabulous. And she always, 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 whether she's doing her own makeup or someone else's, she uses the Falsies Volume Express Mascara. Now, I am, I am sold. I am there. It is gorgeous. One of the main things I like is that it's an actual brush. Now, I've realized I have a problem with plastic brushes. But if you can see, it's literally like the shape of your eyelashes. It's curved and it moves. Can you see it moving? Yes, it moves while you're putting it on. I put it on this morning and my eyelashes were like sky high. It's ridiculous. I don't have any makeup on right now, so I couldn't even show you, and I'm not gonna put it on right now, but it's literally fabulous. It's tiny, so I'm worried that I'm probably gonna run out of it really, really quickly. So when I move, I might actually buy two, because I'm gonna get all my drugstore item stuff here. I mean, I know I could pick it all up over there, but all I know is that uh, it's way more expensive over there, so I'm probably just gonna buy all my stuff in bulk, so. Definitely going to pick up at least two of these before I move away. I love it.